Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In this video number four about Docker, we are going to launch our first uh, container. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel to not miss the, the next video. And if you want, you can like it and comment these videos. Um, to, to start uh, and to launch uh, our first container, we need to uh, find an image. In our case, what we want to do, we just want to run a simple engine container. So to do it, we need to find an image. An image is just a process and uh, an environment with uh, many files and uh, for, or maybe uh, libraries, for example. To do it, we just go on the Docker Hub with uh, Docker dot, uh, uh, sorry, hub dot Docker dot com. You can just search it uh, with Docker Hub, and uh, with Google uh, we have uh, Docker Hub in the first position. We click on it, and in the search, uh, in the search input here, we just enter nginx. Yes, and we select the first line with uh, the, of the official uh, image of Nginx. And if you want to download it locally, you can run Docker pool Nginx. Before to start, I just uh, want to show you if you do a Docker image ls, so image ls, you can see all uh, all. Uh, images you have locally on my uh, laptop, for example. I don't have, uh, I haven't uh, the uh, Nginx uh, image, so I want to download it. So I do a Docker pool Nginx, and our uh, Docker uh, connect to the Docker Hub and download all uh, layers of our. Uh, engines image right and uh, now we can just do if you want you 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 don't need to to run uh, ls uh, option to do it you just uh, you can just uh, to run uh, docker images with uh, s like it and uh, we we see we have our uh, engines image. Okay, right. And now, if you want, you can run it to have a container. A container is just uh, when we run uh, the main process of our image. In our case, you see this uh, this process is is an engines uh, only. And to do it. I can run it with docker run engines like it and by default I can stop it with control C etc and um, by default if you want to uh, we can remove this image uh, with docker image rm and our engines image uh, so we need to uh, all container uh, error. Oh, yes, Docker, yes, a Docker RM. And by default, if you want, we can uh, we can remove this image. And uh, uh, I guess we we don't download uh, the the engine uh, image and. By default, if you just run docker run engine, by default, docker download uh, with the docker run command download uh, the, ima the image of our engine. And now we have an engine, but we want to test. We want to test it, and uh, we. We don't run uh, this container uh, with a dash dash uh, detach uh, to use a background uh, a background 
process. So to test it, we need to have another terminal. And we need to have the Docker, uh, the IP of uh, our container, our engines. And to do it, I just run a Docker inspect command. And I need to, to do it, I need to have uh, the name of our container and to list uh, all container uh, we have on our laptop, I can run uh, just run a docker ps. With docker ps, we have uh, the container ID, the image, in our case this is an Nginx image, We'll see it uh, later, the command, the entry point. This is the main press process uh, uh, that uh, run uh, in our container. The created time status and uh, the port by default uh, for engines, this is the port 80 and the name of our container. In our case, we want to find the uh, the IP of our container and to do it, I just run a docker inspect to access to the metadata of our container. This is this container, so I like uh, Herman, okay. And we have many, many information about our container and the in the at the bottom we can see the IP address and our container have a gateway of course and this gateway is the default uh, docker bridge uh, and this gateway is our laptop on 172.17.0.1 and our container is the first IP, this is 172.17.0.2 and to test it, I just uh, reduce the left terminal and I just run a curl on 172.17.0.2 and if I do it, I can show, I can see a new line here and this is a, an access log of our engines with the get and slash, the response, 200 and we see we use the curl command and we come from our laptop and our laptop have uh, an IP and uh, this IP uh, is 172.17.0.1, right. And if you want now, we can stop our container. So to do it, I just do a docker ps to find the name. I copy it and I run a docker stop now to stop our container. And in the left terminal, we can see we don't have uh, any lines because our container have uh, received uh, uh, an exit, okay? And if you want, you can run again uh, docker ps, sorry, docker ps, okay? And to find all docker containers, we can just add a dash a because uh, docker ps by default, uh, list only active or running container and we have stopped uh, uh, our container and to list all container we can just use docker ps-a and with dash a we can see our container and the status now is exited uh, uh, 47 seconds ago okay if you want you can run it again to do it we just run a docker start command. Okay, I can run again a docker ps, not with a dash a. And now we have our container. I can run again a curl on 172.17.0.2 and we have our, uh, our engines, right. Thank you for following this video and see you in the next video, bye.